should we, uh, yep. we kick off uh, on your impending exit? Uh, you know, what, uh, what, prompted, what prompted your decision? Uh, There's a number of reasons. Um, I guess that came up really, and uh, I guess the key one is, is that you know I'm four years away from home, and uh, I love it here. I, I really do, and it is. It, I truly mean that it has become my second home, and I could easily move here and live here. But the reality for me is, is that uh, things hadn't, didn't work out like that. There was an opportunity for me uh, to get home, and you know, so I've taken it. That's basically the guts of it, really. Yeah. Um, what have you learned, Jude? Chris, you know, over the last two or four years. Where do I start? Yeah. Media conferences, I've learnt a lot there, Mark. How to answer your questions. Um, no, look, I think the, the, one of the, the things that, that I've learnt a lot is about how, how you've got to prepare uh, for consistent performance in a very, very long season and how you've got to try and keep things fresh, how you've got to get player involvement and buy-in um, to build the belief in, in you know, then understanding that when you lose a lot of players like we do, that the next tier's got to be ready to go. So there's, it, there's a lot that I've, that I've learnt here. I and mean, obviously the way the game's played and, you know, what we're trying to do here at Ospreys is, you know, I, I think we've tried to adapt different, different styles and put it into our own, which I think we're, we're doing pretty well at. So there's lots of learning. Is there a sense you're actually leaving, you know, when they could be on the cusp of Quite big things. Yeah, yeah. Listen, that, and that's something that's not lost on me. You know, I think um, to be fair, when what we've done as a group um, in the times, that, the tough times that we've been through, and you know, the pain, particularly last year that we went through, blooding a whole lot of new guys and young guys, purely because of circumstance, we we were clear about what was coming and, and what the benefits would be. Um, but at the time, it was tough, and I and I realise now that you know. We are on the up as a club with these young guys. The depth, the people talk about depth of squad. You've still got to look at the age of these kids, you know, and the fact that they've had exposure. Um, I think they've had some pretty good coaching um, and they've had opportunity. You know, I think that's, that's a key part of it. And yep, the club's on the up. And um, I, I think the next guy that comes in and takes my role on um, has got the challenge to take this group to the next level. So it's a great challenge for whoever comes in. And I'm sure the club will recruit the best person. What, uh, what, what sort of pleased you the most then, you know? What, what aspects of the work have pleased you the most for the last four years, developing young players? Or? Yeah, I, I, look, I think there's definitely that. I love that. I love developing guys and I love seeing guys, um, you know, learn and then take that onto the playing field and turn that into a performance that they're proud of, the, their, their folks, you know, the supporters are proud of. I, that, that's part of the game that I love. That's why I love coaching. Um, I've also too loved the work ethic of the boys and what the jersey means to them. So, you know, there's lots of there's lots of things to, to love about that. And then, you know, although we don't get the world's biggest crowds, we do get a good crowds. And, and you know, the thing I am going to miss is the is the support that we get at uh, Liberty. So, you know, we've still got six months of enjoying that, and uh, you know, a lot of work to be done yet. So, so this week, what, what are you expecting from Newcastle? Mate, they've got a very um, They've got good momentum at home, and I know, you know, I guess we know, we've looked at them, on a, we had a good scout of them. We know that they're going to be wanting to continue that momentum. They want to build their support base, their fan base. They want to be playing good rugby. So I, th I think you're going to see a bit of width on the ball this week. Um, they'll definitely want to play. Um, and so I think it's going to bode for a good game. Um, it's definitely not a game that we are losing sight of. We, doesn't, the, the fact that we've qualified is irrelevant to us. Um, we've got to make sure that we we take a team up to Newcastle that's going to perform, and we're working bloody hard to get that right. Is the possibility that you could break a record if you achieve a performance point win? Is, is that any kind of motivation for you? Not one bit. No. 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 But we look. It's not. Those things are nice. But that's not what we were here for. It's not what we work for. Um, we work for consistency. You know, I know it's a, you know, I'm banging that drum again about performance, but that's what it is. You get, you know, you put the work in, you prepare well, you turn up mentally in the right mind, with the right mind, um, and you know, mo nine times out of ten, that turns into performance, and that's what we're about, and that's what we want. So uh, whether or not you know we get that, it's not really irrelevant. I mean, you, you today, uh, you, the region has supplied the new world's captain. 
Uh, a, you know, that must be a proud moment for the region. Yeah. And what, what's your take on that? You know, oh, that? listen, I, I, I'm just so stoked from you know, I really am, and, and uh, again, all the boys that have that have uh, have, have uh, got a call up today. Um, you know, Ollie, Ollie getting his first call up, which is pretty special. Um, but look, you know, as far as Al goes, it's you know, he deserves it. I think he's um, he's he's as far as I can see, he's, he's a great leader. What uh, you know, you, you've obviously played and uh, and you know coached some really good leaders. What what are his qualities? Do you think? Well, he, look, he's I think he's got the heart of the team, and he does that through his actions on the field and off the field. Like he uh, puts a hundred percent into everything he does. Um, you know, you just got to look at when we score tries, how fast he runs back to the halfway line. You know, little things like that. But he does that on the training pitch as well. Um, he's an incredibly passionate man, and you know that I think that flows through into the team as well. So you know, those have become a couple of his key strengths. And you mentioned Ollie Cracknell. Has his progress uh, surprised you? And do you feel he's, he's ready to play international rugby now? Well, I guess that's the that's the test point for a minute, really. Um, he's had the call up, and am I surprised? No, I'm not. I think you know. You, in this game, nothing you know. There's no real surprises. There's a bit of you know talent can get you so far, but the work ethic and you know the diligence around his pre preparation is the key that's got him there. He's consistent in that. He's consistent in his performances, and he's got the call up. Now the challenge for him is to make sure that when he does get his opportunity, if that comes along, that he grabs it with both hands. And he, will, I'm no doubt, will do what he does here best and prepare as well as he can. So. I'm sure that he, he will he will make a fist of it. How has he advanced this game, Chris, this season? Well, I think if you look at his progress since he came to the club, um, you know, he came with a lot of raw talent. Um, he's a big hitter, obviously, when you defensively. So we've we've had to, you know, tidy up his defence, but he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a very strong defender. He's really worked hard on his attacking game in terms of his catch, carry, pass, and I think that's a, a, a now becoming a strength of his. Um, you know, there's areas around a set piece he's still got a lot of work to do, but he knows he knows that. Um, so I think you know his growth has has been very progressive, but it's well planned, and he's he's been the, the core of it. And what about what Jones uh, was in there? You know, that uh, that might have surprised some people. Did it surprise you? Um, no, it didn't really. Um, I think the key thing about Rodri is is that. This is a guy that turns up to work every day trying to be better. And whether he is ready to play in the Six Nations, um, I guess we'll have to see. But he has made massive progress. He's unfinished by a long shot, and he, he'd be the first to put his hand up there. Am I proud of him for making the Welsh team? Absolutely. But we've got to make sure that we keep everybody keeps their feet on the ground with this guy. You know, if we want him around for the 2019 World Cup, and you know, anchoring the right side of our of the Welsh scrum, we've got to make sure we we work together in this. And I I know Muckers and Howlers have got a good plan around him, and we'll definitely be doing our bit to make sure that we play our part in that. So I'm stoked for him. I'm really pleased. Um, again, just want to make sure that he keeps growing. And then you've got guys on the other side of the coin like Dan Baker and Ashley Beck. Yep. Um, what's the message to those guys? Well, yeah, well, I think there's two different circumstances there, isn't there? And again, the reasons for those guys not being selected, um, again, that's between you know what, what the boys up the top want and what they've said. But again, you know, with Becky, I mean, he's got a, he's got some injuries to manage, and um, in this case, I guess that's probably worked against him a little bit. Um, as far as Bakes goes, again, it's just about the consistency of his work, his work ethic on, on and off the field. So again, that's, he's working hard at that. He's made massive progress, um, but at the moment, it's just not the fit that they are looking for clearly. But uh, hell of a good player, long, lot more growth than him yet. Um, he's only a young man, so you know we don't write him off too easy. And what about your injuries, uh, Chris? You know, you've got. Marfu, yep. Giles. Yep. So they they are uh, going to be diagnosed, or they're getting scans. I think this afternoon. So we'll find out in the next 24 to 48 hours what the crack is there, and that's that's basically where we are. But Steve was saying Reese is, is on the way back, basically, even in the mix for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Again, we've uh, you know we played Sunday, so the, today is our prep day. Um, just bringing guys back in, getting our screening done, getting them ready to go, um, reviewing, having a look at Newcastle. So. 
whether you know Webby's involved in the starting group or within the 23, um, we yet to decide that yet. But yeah, he's on his way back. Are you enjoying the uh, European tournament this season? It's a bit of an opportunity for this group as well. Is that the really challenge for Silver Lake? Yeah, look, I, 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 I do enjoy. I enjoy anything that we're in. Um, I just, for me, it's about winning. It's about performing, um, and it's about you know consistency. And, it, and those are the things that have pleased me so far that we've been able to do in this tournament. Um, we've got to make sure that we transfer. You know, we we finish this pool playoff on a strong note, uh, and then we transfer that into the Pro 12, and that's that's key. But yeah, I've definitely enjoyed the European campaign so far, but it's job not done yet. Mm. Just going back to Alan Jones, I know you mentioned how stoked you were, how happy you were for him. How do you think your form and rise to the challenge have happened? Um, look, he's you know he's, he's our club skipper, and um, again, I know it's an international um, situation, but he will grab it with both hands, and you know, like he'll throw everything at it. So I'm sure he's going to make you know he's going to make a great skipper. So yeah. And um, Rieske, if he does play this weekend, how do you think he'll fare having had such a long time out through injury? Well, the good thing about Webby is that he keeps himself an incredibly good nick. Um, so, look, he'll, he'll go as hard as he can, as he does. So, whether his lungs and his legs can keep up, that's to be soon seen. But he, 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 he's not going to die wondering, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Will you be resting any other front line players this weekend? Uh, there'll be a few changes. Um, again, we're just working through who they're going to be at this stage. Um, but yeah, there'll, there'll be a few changes. But again, it's you know one of the things that Steve's um, made sure that we're clear about is is that it's not a resting. The, the the guys who step into the breach have got an opportunity to keep the momentum going, and we're expecting performance in Newcastle. And there's a possibility of playing the Blues or the Dragons in the quarterfinal. Is that to you um, a positive for the Ospreys and Welsh Regional Rugby, or do you, do you like a bit of a mix-up? Kind of um, look, I think you know I, I can only speak personally. Um, I'm not representing the club here. I don't care who we play. I don't care if it's the Dragons, the Blues, Stard, Harlequins. We've got a home quarter final, and when we cross that bridge, um, whoever's in our way, we're going to we're here to compete and we want to win. So um, you know, it'd be great for regional rugby that. You know, Welsh teams play, but personally, I, I don't care. And that artificial, artificial pitch on the weekend, how do you think that will suit you? Well, obviously, that's their home pitch, and it's their, what they're used to. And, you know, they, like I say, I think there's going to be a bit, the ball's going to be thrown around a wee bit this week. Um, we're not adverse to playing on that sort of surface as well. So, you know, I, I think it's going to be a good game. It's, I don't think it's, we're going to be too far out of our own comfort zone. Um, Liberty's a good stadium, although it is grass and synthetic. But we've got a we've got a three four G pitch out here that we train on as well. So we're not it's not that we're not used to it. So we're actually looking forward to the challenge. Um, yeah, so it'll be good. Good game.